whoa, 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 whoa. I'm alive. Um, anyway. Yeah, I, um... I ended up getting through that cave. Um, I just got lucky and didn't run into anything by just running on basically the opposite top or bottom opposite to, uh, the enemy. So, yeah, just do that and you can get a... Yeah. It's a good thing Mr. T told us that. To be wary of them. And we have Cattle Snake. You can actually fight these, I believe. But there's really no point. And they're harmless. And there's. Mm, squawking Stirp! It's a ridiculous amounts of defense and HP. And they spawn a lot of enemies! They call for backup quite often, and when they do, it's pretty effective, too, if they spawn good amount of enemies. There we go. Level 13. And level 13. Dang, both of them are level 13 already. Uh, and, um, that's so anyway. We're gonna want to go up into the factory, because right now we can't get into the train station, because it costs $2,500 if you don't work here. Hey, you special fella, what are you doing here? What's that you want to go to Clip Titty Boo? That's a special place for workers to go and relieve their daily exhaustion. It's not for people who don't work here. If you absolutely have to go, it's simple. Just do some part-time work here. What do you say? You have some part-time work? Yeah, alright. Yeah? That makes things easy. The job is to transport claimin. First go all the way inside, go down, bring the claim bring three claimin up, give us a map, get a factory sketch. I don't say name on this document. Person pulling the string, it's, it's us, the, 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 the player's name. Just a lot of text. Um, if you didn't for, for, change your name for some reason, or I, I, don't, I don't know, you can change your name. Okay. Hold on, dog, dogs. Da, 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 da. So it looks like Boney's gonna have to go do some separate work from us. Clement are a little low on energy are very weak, so you'll know which ones they are right away. Alright, hop to it. Seems like they're all kind of molded together into a big pile. So. And, um, it is very obvious. Which ones you need to bring? So there's one right here. I'm just gonna speed up me pushing these guys. Oh crap! I'm just gonna kind of speed up me pushing these guys around because oh my god, you move so freaking fast! Look, it's, it's that. But, wow, dude! Because this takes for freaking ever to do, like literally forever. And um, so anyway. If you guys don't mind if I speed this up just to make the process a little less arduous. Time consuming. Hellish. Suicidal. Suicide wanting. Come on! See, like, look. Look how slow he walks. Okay, there we go. Okay, get behind him. Push him up. Up here and up here and then top. Is that oh you brought one already, have you? Hold on a sec. Step on and we step on with him and go upstairs. Now we need to push him some more. I get him all the way to the place. Oh, good work, Lucius. Shocked back into life. Should be some more, just bring them on up. Just bring them up here. Two more to go. Oh, 
not the most exciting uh, part of the game, but oh, here's one right here. That's lucky. That is quite lucky. Now, I don't know if it randomizes every time you go up and down, but if so, I think I can kind of exploit it. Of them. This might not be as painful and arduous by the process I assumed. We don't have to go that far, and if I can exploit it out to where I don't, where I can get them there every time. All right, good work. We can just leave them here. We can get the next one. One more to go. All right. Okay, I do not believe that it resets every time. So if we actually check our map, it can tell you the locations where the worn out ones can be. Um, so you know there are three different locations. I'm assuming then it's probably one for each location. So you're going to get lucky ones. Oh, here's one. Let's stop moving. Ooh. Uh, I feel bad now. Okay. Oh. Did I skip over? Can only... Okay, maybe I was... Where is he then? Did I seriously skip this guy? Oh, I'm dumb. I think I got the farthest one the first time, actually. But I thought I got the second this one. I cannot believe that I literally missed this guy entirely. Come on, buddy. Hey, 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 get out, get out of my way. Get out of my way. Just a sec. Alright, and there we go. Hey, get, get out. There we go. Get, get in line. There we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. That's enough for today. Don't forget to get your pay from Mr. Brown. He's got the entrance. That's your part-time job. God, then. Just such a ridiculously overdramatic <laughs> clip for such an underwhelming thing. Yeah, this one, yeah, the factory isn't easy. Okay. I'm assuming this is this guy. This guy from Mr. Brown. Oh, good job today. Here's your reward for our day of work. Got a ticket. Here's your paper today. You get 200 DP. Work every day, you can make you more money. Work up a good sweat and strive for your dreams. Just so. It's gotten really late. Go relax, tell the titty boy, and have a good time. Good job. So. I think I will in the next episode. Anyway, guys, I've been News with Sad Fries. You guys know the gist, comment, like, subscribe. Every comment, like, and the subscription is very much appreciated. And I guess I'll see y'all guys all next time when we go to Tell Club Titty Boo and see if we can figure out about this mysterious duster-esque looking character. So, uh, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye.